This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 Twin Rockwell Superficial Rockwell Hardness Tester with automatic Z-axis. These dolphin nose hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Rockwell hardness method via a closed loop load cell driven control. This replaces the older weight loaded systems where the testing performance was not as consistent or as accurate as the current load cell system. The automatic Z axis allows for a single button push test without any operator influence. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. The maximum workpiece height is just under 6 inches. The maximum workpiece depth is also just about 6 inches. The most prominent feature of this model is the dolphin nose or protruding indenter. This design allows for inner diameters larger than one and a half inches to be tested. The standard design type machines make this operation very difficult. The touch screen control is external and can be adjusted for convenience. To begin, touching the Phase 2 logo will bring you to the task menu. There, pressing test will bring you to the main test interface. Some key features of this screen to point out. Below the actual Rockwell hardness reading, we have hardness scale, load force, dwell time, indenter type, which will be determined by the hardness scale chosen. The latest five readings, start, a Z-axis manual control. Task screen arrow and status. Taking a test is as simple as affixing your test block on the anvil and pressing the start button. The tester will handle the rest of the testing procedure on its own. The motorized Z axis will perform a test at any height position. However, it is better to be near in order to cut delays in testing time if that is of importance. The hardness reading is showing on the left and also on the statistics screen on the bottom. Let's take the arrow back to the task screen and go to options. This is the main settings screens menu. Some of these individual categories can be accessed from the main testing screen directly. A Rockwell machine will have only the Rockwell sign on the screen a superficial Rockwell machine will show only superficial. A twin machine will show both as we see here. The top of the menu is hardness selection. Pressing Rockwell to change to a Rockwell hardness scale or press superficial Rockwell to change to a superficial Rockwell scale. You can confirm the selection by seeing the choice on the main testing screen. The other selections on the screen are pretty self-explanatory. Date and time stamp, which shows on the main testing screen, Dwell time setting, the default is 5 seconds, which is most common for Rockwell hardness tests. Upper and lower test limit settings. A cylinder correction chart from ASTM will show up on screen to give you adjustments to make for certain readings. And finally, conversions. If you wish to show what your Rockwell C tests convert to in, say, Brunel, you can make a selection here. The conversion will show on the main testing screen. The top button will bring the user back. As mentioned previously, some of these settings can be directly accessed from the main test screen. If we go back to the task menu, we can choose the data screen. This will show all of the stored data readings and allow the user to find, delete, or print the data selected. A total of 120 readings are saved on four pages. To get back to the task screen, press the top button. Let's go back to the main test screen and take a test showing any new parameters we may have set, like conversions. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 900 Auto Z-Axis Dolphin Nose Twin Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.